Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. This is uh, the second attempt to trying to put this video together. Um, before I start, I just want to say a big thank you to all the new people who've subscribed to the channel. Thanks ever so much, I do appreciate it. Um, I hope you um, like the content and uh, you'll uh, stick around. Um, <clears throat> and of course, to all my old hands, thanks ever so much for sticking with me. And um, even though I haven't been producing much content lately, you've um, you stayed subbed to the channel and I do appreciate that. Thanks guys. So as you know, I am trying to do more matchbox builds, um, especially the armour. And um, although matchbox provide uh, a small diorama for them, I thought I'd have a go at um, creating something a bit different with the kits. And uh, I recently purchased two um, buildings, uh, resin buildings from Airfix. And as you can see, the one in front of us is the uh, Italian townhouse. So what I thought I'd do is um, open the box and we can have a look at them together to see what you get for your money. So as you can see, Airfix nicely packaged the, uh, the resin buildings in this nice um, box to keep them uh, all safe and secure and then inside they come in a plastic bag as well um, now one of the things I thought about so one of the things I thought uh, with these uh, resin buildings is that you don't have to use the whole thing on a dio you can in fact um, chop it up a bit and use various parts um, so you could use perhaps one building over um, three or four dios. Um, I like the detailing on the uh, terracotta tiles on the top there, which is <clears throat> why I think they suggest it's an Italian um, house. But of course, you can use this anywhere and nobody's going to um, identify it as being particularly Italian, I don't think, in, uh, in nature. Um, so what I was thinking was that you could perhaps cut at this point here and perhaps this point back here and just have um, sections of the building on your diorama. I'll just measure it for you so you've got some idea of um, what kind of space it will take up. So looking at the width of the building it's um, 65 millimeters and then across the length it's about 100 millimeters including the steps that are there. What I like about the uh, the steps here is uh, this resin handrail that you've got, at least I think it is resin. Um, I'm amazed that that actually manages to survive. It may in fact be uh, metal, um, which is one of the reasons why it has um, managed to um, stay put and not get bent. The uh, building comes with um, window frames. Uh, in brass, etched brass, which is quite nice, and they give you the um, the window pane as well in in that packet, so you can mess about with those to give give the house a bit of a feature. And of course, um, obviously, it looks like it's been bombed out or hit by something anyway. So that's the first item. Um, I'll now show you the second item that I um, bought. So the second item is what they call a, a Czech restaurant. It's uh, bigger than the uh, the one I've just shown you. Um, so obviously lends itself to a bigger diorama or to provide um, quite large features on several dioramas. They give you a few uh, colour callouts suggesting um, what, um, what paints to use on this, which um, is neither here nor there. You can choose your own or, or just uh, follow their instructions. Again, it looks like we've got the terracotta tiling, which is fine. Um, and again, you know, nobody's going to say to you, if you put this in a Normandy kind of setting, that uh, this building shouldn't be there because, um, you know, it, it, it's just a building at the end of the day, quite a large one. I'll get out the box so we can have a look at this one. One thing I have noticed is that uh, Epic suggests that the smaller one is 176 in scale. And this is 172nd again when you've got 172nd 176 vehicles i don't think it'll it'll matter too much um having 176 with this particular one 
So we'll get it out of the box and we'll have a look at it together. So again it comes in this uh, polystyrene box to help protect it and then also a plastic bag. Um, they actually put polystyrene between the walls as well to um, to try and give that some bracing so that it won't uh, snap or anything. But as I say, you can you can use this uh, in different sections on on several dioramas if you wanted. You could just have you could cut down here, for instance, and just have this wall section on one diorama and this other half on another. Although it may look a bit odd with this uh, part suspended in midair, but then um, you could take that part off as well and just have, have a section down here. Um, you could cut down here for instance and have this corner alone. Um, if you've removed that then you could perhaps have a smaller section here. So I think there's quite a bit to mess about with if you want to. Um, one thing I notice about this one is it's quite um, large interior so you'll be able to put a model in there no problem. Um, you know look as if it's uh, hiding. Um, I've mentioned the terracotta tiling and I do like these um, boards um, for, the, for the windows. Um, that's quite a nice feature. We do get the um, brass again for the window frames and the plastic for the window pane. So um, again plenty to add a bit of detail to, to the dyer or to the building at least. The size of this one, um, it's around about um, 135 mil in length and about 75 mil in width. So <clears throat> that will give you some idea what kind of <clears throat> diorama you can, what board you can fit this on. My intention is to do just a very straightforward um, dio with these. Uh, the only thing that kind of um, is going to challenge me a bit is to get the rubble to look okay. Uh, Greg Riley does a very good job in 135th scale, um, I, you know, with debris and things like that. And I'll go try and replicate that in this um, smaller scale, which uh, will be a challenge for me. I usually um, don't uh, put buildings in for that reason because of trying to reproduce something that looks authentic enough. Um, so we will see. Anyway, that's it. I thought I'd do a quick review for you guys. Um, I hope uh, your week has started well and your year has started well. Um, please look after yourselves, stay safe, and I'll catch up with you soon.